Okay. Hey, uh, I'm Keith. Every time I die, you're watching morecore.de. So, uh, hello, Keith. Hi. Hi, uh, how you doing? I'm really jet lagged. Jet lagged? Yeah, I got in it. I landed at like 8 o'clock this morning and okay. I sleep till my stuff. Yeah. So, my, my question for how was the flight? Can terrible. I. Terrible. All right. It was <laughs> cool. Terrible, yeah. Cool. <laughs> it was really bad. Um, so, um, Low Teens is now for circa two months out. Yeah. Uh, how's the feedback so far? Really good. It's been uh, some of the most positive feedback we've ever gotten on a record. Okay. At least from what I see, but I, I tend to tailor my. Um, my access to internet comments and stuff to very specific, yeah. so sure, sure, specific yeah. groups of people and, and, yeah. and websites. So um, I'm sure people hate it, but I don't really okay. try to read that stuff. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, does this does this feedback uh, affect you in your songwriting? Uh, uh, no, no, no. I, I, it doesn't affect me. I mean, I mean, it's it's a little bit. Um, you take it into consideration right after the record comes out and you kind of see what people like and what people don't yeah. and then you just make maybe make a little mental note um, when okay. you go for the next time you go into writing songs but um, I mean ultimately we're the best judge of, of what's good for every time I die so yeah. you know we would never do something just because people wanted us to so you're doing it more for yourself in ourself and yeah but what's good is that people that like every time i die are, are on the same wavelength with our inner yeah. self yeah. so if we do it it tends to resonate with with a lot of people okay cool um so it doesn't affect you in the last albums either no not really not that i can recall um i mean i i just know that over the course of the albums i, I tried different things like um, you know, singing more, which is strange for a, a band of our genre. But mm -hmm. um, you know, this album has two songs where there's no screaming on it, and mm -hmm. I didn't even realize that until we were done recording it. So okay. it just it was what came naturally. So since you are um, more preferably on your inner self with the with the record, uh, where did you get your inspiration? Is there any music that says okay that has a lot of impact on our music? Um, or? I don't really know. It's it's hard for me to say because. I, I'm just kind of writing about whatever's around me at the time, um, but as far as the guys writing music, I mean, their their tastes are all across the board. Yeah. You know, it'll be, you know, really heavy metal, like you know, Converge and, and um, yeah, yeah. you know things like that. For uh, a lot of the time, and then other times it's just like, you know, Radiohead and slow stuff. Yeah, yeah, so sure. It just depends on what mood everybody's in. But yeah. when we all get together, I think we we somehow land on the same page, and that's kind of. Yeah. The benefit of being in a band for so long. So, um, what do you are uh, listening to recently? Um, I could tell you here. Let me let me. I always flub this question, so <laughs> luckily now I can. Okay. I have my uh, my album list. I listen to the new uh, Bad Rabbits on the way over here. All right. Um, I also listen to the. Hold on, let me find out albums. Where are we? Um, I have Anderson Pock. I don't know yeah. if you've heard of him. Yeah, no, uh, no, no, no. He, he's incredible. Yeah. Uh, I was listening to uh, the new Frightened Rabbit and yeah. the new From Indian Lakes. I was listening to Bad Rabbit and Frightened Rabbit. So. Oh, okay. A lot of rabbits. <laughs> a lot of rabbits. A lot of rabbits. Yeah. Okay. You are an uh, animal freak. I'm an animal freak. Yeah, I'm an animal freak. <laughs> okay. I love rabbits. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> um, is there any connection in a, in a general theme um, through all the songs in Low Teens? Uh, yeah, I was going through some some shit with my 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 wife and child were very yeah. sick, um, so I was dealing with with that, and I mean that was on the forefront, and you know at the time I I, I was thinking like there's just no way I can write a record now I I just I can't even concentrate on it I, I just have so much other stuff going on but in retrospect I that that was the perfect time to write a record because it was the only thing that I kind of used to help me deal with it like a self therapy it really was therapeutic yeah right. yeah very much cool. so helped me make sense of a lot of things yeah. Um, then a question of my personal interest. Okay. Um, you have a song called uh, C++ Love Will Get You Killed. Yeah. Uh, what's the story behind the name? Um, C++ is a, are you a computer guy? Yeah, it's I'm a computer language. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, sure, I know. So, um, the, the song is kind of about how when I was in the hospital um, rooms, there was just so many different machines yeah. talking to each other, and I thought it would be cool if I could understand what they were saying so yeah. I didn't have to keep asking doctors oh, okay okay <laughs> speak uh, having a language of a computer yeah, and C++ sure. was the first sure. one okay. I mean I'm sure there's, there's other computer languages I could have picked 
you know. True, but true. Yeah, I it's, thought it's, C++ it's, is the coolest one. Yeah, yeah <laughs> just just curious for me. Yeah, I'm, I'm a computer s s student science. Cool, cool. Yeah, okay. Um, so with uh, low teens, you have eight albums out now. Yeah. Um, that's a pretty long time. I, I think since the 90s 98, around 98, 99, 98, yeah. 80s, yeah. Um, are there any moments which you remember from touring all these years where you say, what, this was totally crazy, this was the uh, weirdest yeah. shit i ever seen? Yeah, I mean, I, I was actually thinking today about the first time that we ever came over uh, overseas to tour yeah. and we were sharing buses with people that we didn't know very well and we were all part... I mean, I, I was especially... Um, reminded of, of this episode when I came on this bus today for the first time because the first time I ever came over we had a bus like this with a back launch like this and we we're all hanging out and some drunk guy walked up and came back here and th fought uh, there was a fight in here f with strangers just off the street in the back lounge and the guy just walked out and started fighting everybody so okay it was pretty wild <laughs> and, th and then you're a kid and you're like oh that's awesome but as an adult I'm like if that were to happen now I mean I'd who we can't account for people's insanity, so yeah, sure, it, it sure, wouldn't sure. be a good story now. It was back then. Yeah, now maybe, it would just be yeah. terrifying. <laughs> Understandable. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, true. Um, when you meet, when you say you are with uh, some uh, new guys on tour, mm. and they said from pretty weird shit, uh, you are talking about pretty weird shit. Yeah. Um, you are touring with uh, these sixty-eight. Yeah. Which are very crazy guys, yeah. and they already have intense live shows and yeah. stuff. You're um, smirking. You look like yeah, you're gonna yeah, get yeah. something. <laughs> which uh, I have to I have to ask you, which which band do you think you every time I die or uh, the sixty eight is the more craziest band like? Um, I it's not even well sixty eight only has two guys, so yeah, that's yeah. not fair because they all they need is two guys to go <laughs> yeah. crazy. We have sure. five guys, um, but I think that Jordan is the, one of the craziest. M not only members of every time I die, he's just the cr one of the craziest people in a band. Yeah, but. <clears throat> he is rivaled by Josh, I think, from '68. Yeah, yeah. So I think Josh and Jordan are the two two of the craziest okay. people I've ever seen on stage. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, Low Teens was the first uh, album with Daniel on the drums in yeah. Um I was working with him. He's awesome. Yeah. Very awesome. Yeah. Um, just very m meticulous, and he he has a he has a vision, uh, and he knows how to enact that vision. So it was really really good. He came in ready to go like you know he knew that this was gonna be his debut and he yeah. wanted to impress and you okay. know not just play like other every time i die drummers okay so so he fit seamlessly yes absolutely okay, cool. um um yeah besides uh every time i die you a lot of guys a lot of you guys have some um i don't want to say weird uh, jobs, but yeah. you are a writer for Comedy Central. Right? I, d I did for a little you bit. Did? I, yeah, yeah, I haven't done it in a while. Oh, it was just okay. kind of like a freelance thing. Ah, okay, um, cool, cool. Yeah, I've seen the yeah. spot. Yeah, it was pretty funny. Thanks, thanks, <laughs> thanks. And also, uh, Andy is a wrestler. He's a wrestler, which is pretty weird, I think. It's, uh, it's but it's a thing in, in America, right? Yeah, oh, it's a thing in America. Yeah, yeah. Right, cool. And Andy, uh, he loves it, and he's always loved it. So it's cool to see him do it. Um, it's just strange because he spent 20 years in this band beating himself up and then he gets into wrestling where he actually gets beat up. You know, so All right, it's cool. a weird transition. So, yeah, cool. Yeah. Um, another thing with uh, people you work with on Low Teens is Brendan Marie from yeah. Panic at the Disco. How did this collaboration come? He's just a good friend of ours and uh, yeah. we met him a long time ago when both of our bands played a festival um, yeah. like right when they started. I think they had just put out uh, Fever you can't sweat out but he was like a hardcore kid you know so he loved yeah, he loved every yeah. time I die and we were really taken aback by that because it just didn't seem like it but yeah um, we've just kind of been in touch ever since and been friends for a lot of years and cool so yeah. I've seen the video from your show in LA I think okay yeah you played yeah. live with him yeah so he really enjoyed it he loves it yeah which is kind of weird to say it's I know scene. I know it's a strange um, sight because we have to, um, we had we had, we had to I think some uh, weeks ago we watched them here in a big arena oh, yeah. with Panic at the Disco yeah. and you have all this suit and, yeah. and in LA that he had the, the yeah. jacket, yeah. the, the leather jacket. It was cool. It That's was it. very cool. I was We were really honored that he would come and do that. Yeah. So it's good. We love cool. it. Cool. Yeah. 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 The last question. Okay. Um, so today is the first stop on your tour for mm -hmm. Europe. Um, what do you expect to see? What do you hope to do not to see? I, I hope I never see a barrier on tour. I hope that there's no barricade between us and the crowd ever. Um, All right. That would be good because I don't like 
We don't like playing with barriers. Are there any barriers here? No, cool? no, no, it's gonna be awesome. That's so cool. That's a really lot of cool. stage dives. Yeah, yeah, I love it. Yeah, me too. <laughs> me too. I, this is great. Like the 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 fact that clubs will be like this size and yeah. everyone's really yeah. intimate and cool. close. Yeah, it'll be great. And what do you see? I hope to see uh, in a positive way. Um, I don't, man. I I just hope people understand that all Americans aren't Trump supporters <laughs> you okay, know it's okay. a little we're a yeah. little skittish coming yeah. over here to be honest and you know we definitely didn't vote for Trump so we hope that people understand sure, sure. that there are Americans out there that don't support okay that. cool yeah so thank you for your time of course thank you um, have a fun tonight thank have you have a great tour appreciate it and uh, I hope you get safe soon thanks man thanks very much good talking to you <laughs>